heavyweight of the industry. He's uh, crawled up, <laughs> up the motorway from Birmingham, where he resides, ladies and gentlemen. 35 years in the business. He has some fantastic information. The company he represents is one of the industry's giants, LUK. Please give it up for Birmingham's very own Mr. Malcolm Short. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Or just gentlemen, actually. Yeah, Mal, thanks, uh, thanks for coming, joining us here. And uh, thanks for this fantastic new information, because you've come to tell the world about engines without camshafts. That worries me. That's right, Steve. We're going to talk about Unier, which is the first step towards a camshaftless engine. And it's a, a, an ENA, Schaeffler Group, proprietary technology? It is, Steve. Okay, and you're going to tell me, like all my presenters have, this has got benefits for the environment, right? Well, isn't anything we're talking about today to do with that? And it, we have to keep reinventing the infernal combustion engine until we reverse this kind of information where for every 50 litres of fuel you put in your fuel tank, 10 of them are used to propel you down the road, the other 40 are just wasted producing heat. And if we look at the, the actual volume of Mount Fuji, is the same as the volume as the recoverable petroleum deposits on the earth, and we've already used about half of it. So things need to change. What about globular warning? Well, I've got categorical proof that it has actually occurred, Steve. That's a, that's a sobering thought, Mark, ladies, actually. And uh, Ina, uh, always at the front of the Wi-Fi, I mean, sorry, uh, at the forefront of this kind of technology, aren't they? They are, Steve. I mean, there have been various mechanical valve control systems about for quite a while. We've been involved with some of them. Some of them made production. But quite early on, Ina realised we needed a fully variable system. What do you mean by fully variable? And, uh, you know, what do all these other systems provide? Well, essentially... An engine is designed to give us maximum power. So the camshaft globe is designed to get as much air and fuel mixture in that cylinder at maximum power. But most of the time, we're actually wasting 10% of the energy trying to draw air through a partially closed throttle valve. So at partial load, we don't need that much, Steve, um, or even at idle. So we open the inlet valve late, close it early, and we can do that fairly easy by creating a valve clearance with something like a switchable tappet. Yep. And that reduces the amount of air-fuel mixture in the cylinder. So presumably you could actually take it one stage further and switch complete cylinders in and out. Well, absolutely, Steve. I mean, the beauty of multi-air, is, uh, sorry, uni-air, is not only can we open the valve and close the valve late or early or not at all, yep. but we can actually open it more than once and on individual cylinders if we want to. So Schaeffler are going to save the planet, I got that, but which car are you going to do it on first? Well, we're going to start off with the um, Ina have developed it for Fiat Powertrain, and it's been on the Mito since 2009, the Juliet, the Bravo, and a few others, and uh, it's marketed as Twin Air on the Fiat 500 and the Lancia Ypsilon. Well, Mal, I was actually an Alfa Romeo works driver in Formula 3, and, and did I tell you that I was that? I was, I was off to it staying, drive yeah. the fit. Worked. Oh well, never mind. Uh, shall we? Shall we press on then, Mo? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we're the audience. I can see they're on the edge of the seat here. There's no doubt about it. You're giving us uh, a big build-up, but these guys are techy. As am I. How you does it work? You want to see how it works? Yeah, I do. Well, essentially, we've got a camshaft that drives the oil pump. I've got one here, haven't I, Mel? You have got one there, yeah. Steve. Shall I demonstrate? Oh no, you carry on, carry on. But I did pick up at the front that it's the, the camshaftless engine. Yes. But actually, we've got one there, so we might as well use it. So the camshaft is driving the oil pump, uh, and it puts high-pressure oil through a solenoid. If it wants the valve to open, the solenoid opens, and it allows high-pressure oil to open that valve. But if it doesn't want to open, then it diverts it to the accumulator at the top, and we save that oil pressure for later. Yeah, what's, why has it got a brake on it? Well, a traditional camshaft, will, the lobe will be shaped to give you a nice gentle valve closing. And we haven't got that on Unier, so we need to protect the valve seat from that hard closure. Try and bear in mind, Mark, I am a, a race driver. Have you got any coloured in pictures? I've got a nice video, Steve. How about oh, that? Yes, even better, yeah. There's the camshaft driving the rocker, and there's a hydraulic tappet at the bottom, but they're fairly incidental, to be honest. The pump is the thing with the gold spring on, and that's providing the high-pressure oil through the solenoid and opening that inlet valve. So let's summarise here, Mal. Low control without a throttle valve, excellent volumetric efficiency, direct and faster valve control. That's going to lead to optimised combustion control, right? Blimey, you were listening, Steve. Well, and I need to have my finger on the pulse. 
10% less emissions and better fuel economy, 10% yep. more power and 15% more torque at lower engine speed compared to a standard engine. Well, I'm convinced, ladies and gentlemen, I might go and do that racing Fiat 500 <laughs> for the works team after Again. all. Again. Oh, Mark, uh, let's press on. You still offer world-class support, don't you, for all of this tech for the guys? Absolutely. Um, we've got uh, our technical hotline available five and a half days a week. We've still got our web, rep, rep expert website, Steve, popular as ever, and we put all those bonus coupons in all but the smallest of boxes um, for you guys to uh, Didn't you mention access. free training? Free training, as always, Steve, yes. Okay, and uh, would you demonstrate some of this fantastic kit in between shows for our guys? Yes, sure. You would. You do all of that for nothing. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, you <laughs> heard it from the man himself, LUK's Mr. Malcolm Short. Thank you. Why don't you stay on the stage? I'm going to invite back all of my presenters now because uh, at the end of our shows, ladies and gentlemen,